Welcome to Kitchen Conservatory. I'm Ann Corey, and let's go visit the island of unloved vegetables. Yes, your supermarket sells all these vegetables, but you probably walk right past them because, well, what do you do with them? Here's a parsnip. A parsnip is like, looks like a white carrot. What I like to do is peel it, and, it, and, and you, when you peel it, if you can see that it just looks like a white carrot as you peel it down. Now, parsnips are great roasted in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, coated with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Or you can boil parsnips and make mashed parsnips, which people think they look like mashed potatoes, but they really taste delicious. Um, put with a little butter uh, and cream in it. Uh, just chop it up like this, whichever you're going to do, and it's ready to go. The, the people even deep fry parsnips and treat it like um, french fries. Now this is a turnip. And the turnip, you have to peel a little aggressively here because it's got a thick skin. I like to get vegetables around, so I like to get them on a flat surface as soon as possible. Turnips are incredibly sweet. Again, I like them roasted or I like them pureed. Another thing that's delicious to do with turnips is to butter braise them, cook them in stock and butter until all the liquid has, has uh, evaporated and then season them with salt and pepper. They're really good, with the, the turnips. And then this ugly vegetable is a celery root. And yes, there would be celery stalks coming off the top of this. The French adore celery root. Sometimes you'll see it called celery -ac. Uh, but once again, you want to peel aggressively this thick skin that you have. The French actually eat the celery root raw. They just mix it in with a, uh, a mayonnaise and, and after it's been shredded and eat it like a coleslaw. I think celery root tastes best cooked. I like, I like to boil it in milk because when you boil it in milk, it becomes super creamy and delicious. And then puree it. You have to puree it with a food processor. You can't just puree it um, with a, uh, uh, with a uh, ricer or a food mill. But it even smells like celery. But that's celery root. And then we have um, a uh, winter squash. This is an acorn squash. I'm not going to peel this the way I peeled the other vegetables because of all these scalloping in it. That makes it very difficult. So sometimes, because with the round vegetable, people have a hard time cutting an acorn squash or, or a winter squash, I like to take the tip and get things started then. And once you get it started, usually you can take it all the way through. Although if it's particularly tough, bang your knife like that and then you will be able to get it all the way through. You do need to scoop the seeds out of the squash before you cook it. Uh, and this is a pitting spoon that I'm going to take the seeds and the strings out of the squash in before I cook it. It's really good roast in the oven, and it's really good on the grill. To cook it on the grill, I do it face down for about 10 or 15 minutes, then turn it up and then fit, turn it up over on the other side and fill it with something delicious like roasted garlic. A lot of people do squash sweet, but I think it's great. it takes savory things great. Brussels sprouts. Why do Brussels sprouts get so much attention of, of being unloved? You can cut off the ends. This is a large one that I, I would like to cut in half. I like to roast them. And here I have a silicone mat where I can roast the um, butternut uh, Brussels sprouts with olive oil and salt and pepper. They have real crispy leaves then and that just tastes delicious. This is fennel, sometimes known as anise. And you can use the, the um, leaves on it, which are kind of look like dill, but it tastes like licorice. Fennel, you can eat raw or cooked, but usually it's the bulb you eat, not the stalks. You throw that away. And fennel is actually, the best way to cut fennel is with a mandolin, because you really want paper thin slices with it, just like that. And, and uh, some people will eat it raw in a salad, but when you slowly cook it in butter, it just becomes meltingly tender. And I like to slowly cook it with a leek. And a leek grows in the ground because you just want to use the white and pale green part. So it's actually all of this part of the leek you throw away and you use this. I usually peel off the outer uh, 
bit of the leek before using it. And then after I cut it is when I like to wash the leek. The leek is always sandy, so you want to wash it really well so it doesn't taste gritty. So I like to cut it in half, wash it, and then put it in a colander uh, so I can get all that grit out. So, and I love to cook leeks with fennel. They make a great uh, base for salmon or chicken. Really wonderful. And then our last unloved vegetable is the kohlrabi. Don't eat it. Bypass it. Not worth it. Doesn't taste that good. We make cooking fun at Kitchen Conservatory.